From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. I'm Caitlin Nuclo. Today, family and loved ones are remembering the life of 46-year-old Tony Shea. He is the founder of Zappos, one of the most innovative shoe and fashion companies in modern history. He died Friday after a house fire in New London. According to a statement from DTP Companies, which Shea founded, he was with his family when he died. We do expect to learn more details from investigators tomorrow. In Vernon, the puppy that ran away after the owner was killed in a hit and run crash has been found safe. 44 year old Andrew Agawal was walking his dog Ollie on Phoenix Street last Tuesday when he was hit and killed. The driver left the scene and Ollie ran off. He was found yesterday. Police say they do believe they found the car involved, but they haven't made any arrests. Detectives are now going through surveillance footage from homes in the neighborhood as part of that investigation. And in Hartford, a rally was held this weekend at the state capitol to support small businesses. Owners, employees and supporters came out. They shared how the pandemic has impacted their business and their life. Every day I'm, I'm working on properties and trying to make ends meet. The National Federation of Independent Business says one in five small business owners may have to shut down if economic conditions do not improve within six months. Meteorologist Melissa Cole with your Channel 3 early warning forecast. We are forecasting a weather alert tomorrow with some heavy rain and gusty winds expected, but not today. A beautiful day out there with plenty of sunshine and comfortable afternoon temperatures, 50 to 55. Rain and wind move in tomorrow, especially after lunchtime. The height of the storm, really 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. That's when the strongest winds and rain will be. Still windy on Tuesday with some lingering showers. Um, but improvement on Tuesday and especially Wednesday and beyond 50 to 55 today sunsets this afternoon at 421 overnight lows will drop down into the 30s cloudy by the time you wake up tomorrow morning and eventually the clouds will fill in even further and produce rain that'll be around us throughout the day tomorrow into tomorrow night scattered showers on Tuesday mild but dropping temperatures and then Wednesday Thursday and Friday plenty of sunshine a gradual warm up more showers are possible on Saturday. Eyewitness News is everywhere. Get the latest in-depth headlines anytime on the Channel 3 streaming news app.